The year is finally ending for many students around the country, and during this time, it's important for parents to talk to college-age students about their mental health. A new article from the American Psychological Association recently stated that universities are overwhelmed with students seeking help from their school's mental health facilities. My name is Jericho Navasca Ortanias. I am a musician. My name is Caius Rafael Baluta, a major, a double major in history and political science from the University of Windsor. I don't believe that we as a society, uh, and this is speaking just on my own personal beliefs, um, with that, I don't believe that we as a society accurately uh, portray depression. I believe we're a very passive aggressive and non confrontational society, and, it's, and we're constantly being told to, to you know, j j just, just, oh, get over it, it'll get better. Uh, oh, you know, just, 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 just get happy, and, 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 and but you know, if you're depressed, you can't just do that. I believe I first realized I had depression in my first year at university. I realized I had it after uh, a lot of negative things going on at the same time. It just seems to like tumble downhill of negative actions in my life, like my father passing away, girlfriends breaking up with you, school going bad. It just started making me question like what's the point of going on? is that the severity of the psychological disorders that we're seeing is much more intense than it had been in years past. Uh, ten years ago, we would deal with a roommate dispute or a breakup with a boyfriend or girlfriend. Now we're dealing with depression, um, anxiety disorders. I think I would describe uh, depression as something that's very tricky because a person could seem to be fine physically and doing okay, but really that person is not okay. Life is in a state of gray when you are depressed. Food tastes bad. Friends and family annoy you. Nothing seems to go right. But everyone does seem to have days like this, but if you're depressed, it's like this all the time. You're not really physically ill but you're not well and you're not feeling too good either and it's frustrating because you can just say oh i'm just gonna feel better today i'm gonna go out there and be happy and try to be happier and in some cases that might even work for a little bit but usually it always comes back and it's just so demoralizing to to know that it's there and it's probably going to come back and then when it when it does hit you back again you just fall you usually fall pretty hard i feel like depression can be triggered by a lot of things even just like looking at a color or listening to a certain song or a painting, anything with an emotional attachment to it can bring you down. But it's if you just look at it negatively though. A variety of ways that, that we passively, aggressively isolate uh, people who are depressed and, and, and we make it hard for people going through depression or any mental illness to actually, actually just like be happy and healthy humans. But apparently America is all depressed. I think we still tend to see it as something that's not really a problem that's more like an individual acting like there's something wrong when in fact that's really far from the truth. There's a reason why you're stuck in the mud and everybody else is moving. The most frustrating part about being depressed is feeling alone and people coming up to you and pretending like they know what's going on because they don't. Everyone goes through different things in their life and pretending like you know and you empathize when you really don't, it really just annoys you. 
out there about what is the real reason. But a couple of things that have been mentioned is that because uh, children are getting more support if they do have emotional disorders, they're getting support younger. So a lot of children who never would have made it to college are now making it to college because they're getting that support early on. Another uh, theory out there is that mental health is not as stigmatized as it had been before. So it could be possible that these students are just looking for treatment now and that college campuses are doing a great job of outreach now. But they don't have a lot of people working there, so obviously you have to make an appointment, you have to wait to see the person, and that person may not always be that helpful. But the worst part is that you really can't see someone all that much, at least when I went. It wasn't really that helpful. They weren't. They're just after my money. They didn't care if I failed after paying your classes. There was no signs on the wall asking if you needed help. Maybe there were, but it's not marketed enough for anyone to see it. And I'm pretty sure they don't put much money into it. Art is, is, is like the one thing that no matter how depressed I, I, I be, became or have gotten or how crazy things have gotten in my life, art has just been that, that, one, that one kind of middle ground between everything. I would say smile. Smiling does a lot. If you smile, the rest of the body takes over and then you eventually become happy. I mean, and if you look into the past of things that make you sad, don't look for things that make you sad. Just look for things, I don't know, think of the happy times. It's so easy to remember the bad. It's too easy. Remembering the good, that takes, that takes practice. Right. What I love about art is that one, art saves a lot of money on therapy art no matter what art you, you pursue it helps make sense of the world you live in that you're not alone and you really need to just talk to someone maybe a professional or a family member or friends especially friends good friends it makes a world of difference if you can actually talk to someone who's understanding and will honestly listen to you and not dismiss you. If you have that, please go talk to someone and share your, your problems because it really, it really can help. How do I cope with the tougher times? I play music, blues guitar, I sing, I hang around positive people. It's, just take it day by day. I feel that we can do as a society is like basically like listen to what each of us has to say and, and take the appropriate action to to bring about positive change. I mean short of that it's just everybody talking and blowing hot air thinking that that they're informed and, and expressive when in actuality they're, they're just talking. So it's like 75% of fighting depression is, is, is finding someone else who, who That's the best thing I can say to anybody is essentially find your tribe and make your own family.